Alrighty, hey guys. Let's go play some Kerbal. Now, one of my idiots I know uh, asked me to show him how to land at a point on the Mun. So I'm going to do that, hopefully successfully. Um, I don't know. It's been a while since I've done that, so basically what you do is you plan a maneuver because maneuvers are super helpful when doing I think, yeah. I'm trying to think the last time I did it was months ago, but I think maneuvers were just in, so... Basically, you make a maneuver so that you land close to it. It's not very hard. Except my, uh, it's gonna have to change because it's an hour. Um, and the month spins. Okay, so it's not a very difficult process. Fortunately, it's, I need to, uh, speed this up a bit. I have a bunch, actually. Little more. And I need to tilt it down. So yeah, that's probably good. Is my RCS? Keep it on, not turn it off. And we'll just go here. So my I have a rover here, and my design for it was just completely retarded. I don't even know why it worked. It was basically four rockets strapped on, around the edge or something to drop my rover on the mod. I oh wait, what am I doing? It's not time yet. <laughs> um, speed it up a bit. All right. Now we just wait. Burn. Uh, oh. Okay then. Sweet. So now basically we're on a collision course with the Mun. How much fuel do I have left in this thing? Yeah, I managed to get here with one of these tanks still, so I have all this fuel here. So okay. Let's speed up time, because my... What is this? 20 minutes away? Okay, so now we are falling slowly towards the moon by slowing me in at least, you know, 300 meters per second. Now we just want to slow down. Wait till there. That's in two minutes. Okay, I should probably slow down a bit now. Where's my retrograde the other way? No, no, come on, rocket, you can do it. I was worried that my uh, engine, my fuel tank, would uh, just orbit the moon, but fortunately, it's kept me alive, or it's been around long enough to actually fall into the moon, so I'm fine. He's worried about it. Alrighty. So, come on. Slow down. Big lumbering beast. So now we're just gonna lock that. Speed up time a little bit. Oh shit, missed it. All right. All right, so this is pretty good. We are currently sitting at 90,000 meters. Now we'll speed up time a little bit more. Oh, I wanted to actually hit comma, not that. Just speed up time again. So here we are. Slowing down even more. It's probably a bit too much, so I might undershoot it this time. But we're still sitting, you know, pretty high up and pretty far. How much will this have? Not too much, but whatever. Hopefully it won't land on my rover. That would make me very sad. Because it was hard enough getting it here. Actually, it wasn't. It was just silly. Yeah, I'm gonna undershoot it a bit. I suppose I could just burn prograde. And extend my orbit. Because that would keep me higher up. It is, it is a waste of fuel, but I have plenty. 
I don't plan on making a return trip anyways. And I might even crash on landing, because I'm not the greatest lander. Alright, that's probably good. Okay, then. So, oh, I started rotating. Alrighty. So, now it's the fun time to just... Ooh, I need to actually extend this. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh. Remove. Oi, oi, oi. Stop it. Stop it. We're burning in 20 seconds. So hopefully I'm doing... <laughs> I'm slowing down enough. I'm trying to not undershoot it. I've done it before. I've, I think the last time I did it, I uh, stranded one Kerbal here by accident, and then I tried rescuing him, and I stranded a second one here, so I had to go send a third one here. I managed to get it pretty close to both guys. I was at this point I can probably just eyeball it. Which does this have left? Not too much. I should probably just eyeball it now. I'm gonna have to drop this anyways. And I'm probably cutting this way too close by going at 300 meters per second. But yeah, I don't really care. fuel left. It's enough for I'm just burnt now. Goodbye. Oh, oops, don't, don't do that. Alright, so now we're much lighter. Unfortunately we don't we don't have this massive beast of a thruster anymore. Did I lose my other out there? I can't remember. I think I did. Balls. God damn it. <laughs> Whoops. So now we're just burning a bit to slow down. I said I should actually be burning. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't actually have my engine enabled. <laughs> oh, that, I really hope that doesn't hit my, my uh, rover. Uh, it's gonna miss, I think. Yeah, it's gonna miss. Well, this is the most exciting thing ever. Just no. Okay, I can just fall down. Whew. So I'm sure if I wanted to, I could I could do, do do some more course adjustments to get it even closer, which I might do. Actually, no, fuck that. I, it just involves speeding back up. I think. I'm a bit lazy. And plus, you know, three kilometers within isn't too bad. So let's see. I'm always really bad at landing. Especially this, this one's so tall, it kind, of, it kind of has issues. It's probably gonna fall over. Oh, that actually burns too much. <laughs> so now it's just the uh, delightful descent down to the surface of the mun. It's not too difficult. If I'm stupid, a little rover. Debris, and there's my rover, I think. Yeah. So, here we go, falling. Pretty much straight down now. Eh, I don't need to speed up yet. Alrighty, so. Yeah, not too exciting, guys, unfortunately. 
Wait, what else can you can, uh, can you say about you know falling down very slowly? Not much. Okay, okay, can do this. Can do this. Almost there. Am I landing on a hill? I might be. Don't fall, don't fall. There we go. So there we go. I landed about a kilometer away from my rover. Honestly, not that hard. Just maneuvers. It's just slowing down the correct places. So that's exciting. Um, yeah. As I said, dude, not hard. Now I'm gonna just. I'll just leave him here. Let's go to my rover. Just show what that is. Just because I'm here. I'm doing it during a Kerbal video. Oh, I have shit over there. Whoops. So here is my um. My rover that I built. It's kind of stupid. Um, it came on this thing. So basically, it was positioned right there, and uh, then it dropped. I, I don't know how it worked, but it did. So it was RCS, which doesn't seem, seem to have enough thrust. Oof, they actually lift it, which isn't good. Oh well. Um, I will have to explore it later. Back to space. What? Oh, I just can't be, be moving with it. Okay. And I will show you what that rocket looks like. The one that delivered that payload. That's my basic moon lander, which is which, which, which is what I just used. Now let's go. Where is it? Also, it's called Suicide Mark One because. Uh. I think I was just screw screwing around, and, and my company is the Space Lunatics, I think it is. Like, Lunatic, but Mon Lunatics? That's what I did. Luna, like Lunatics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad joke. Where is it? Oh, is it? here it is. The Rover Deployer, Mark 1. It is so bad. Um, yeah. It is this monstrosity. <laughs> it's not symmetrical, really. It kind of is. It's basically four rockets strapped to this with some space tape. It, it actually works. Um, I don't know what to say about that. Like, its entire point is to... I will... Um, if I just did a couple... Oh, if I, if I did a couple, everything will blow up. So it's just... Look at this! There we go. Uh, a little faster, please. Oh god. Please drop that. Good night, please. So yeah, its entire point is to get this into orbit of the Mon, and um, yeah. Let's see, let's see if, I, if I actually land it. Oh, I actually need to not do that. Uh oh. Uh oh. It does this. Um, it's supposed to land and just drop the rover. Anyways, that was Kerbal. Um. <laughs> whatever. So, that's how you land to the moon, so good sir. It's not very hard. It not, not land on the, on the moon. It's land next to something on the moon. Not hard at all. Anyways, maybe I'll do some more Kerbal. I don't know. I kind of like this. Whatever. So I'll see you guys next time. That was me playing. I forgot how to do outros. Whatever. See you guys. I'm out. <laughs> Alright, you know, you know what? It would be really helpful if I actually pressed my record button when I said that. Oh well. Bye, guys.